With the fight against COVID-19, Tarrant County should make its new case numbers available tomorrow. Dallas County later today. And Dallas County COVID testing sites close for the Thanksgiving holiday, but they will reopen today. So that means the drive throughs at both Ellis Davis Fieldhouse and Dallas College Eastfield Campus. So testing is open to anyone over the age of five with or without symptoms and lives within the boundaries of the city of Dallas or Dallas County. And this is key information here. North Texas hospitals have now surpassed a critical threshold here. More than 15% of hospital beds are now taken up by patients fighting the coronavirus. Now let's explain why this is really so important. Under Governor Greg Abbott's executive order, we stay above 15% for seven consecutive days. Businesses will be forced to scale back capacity from 75% to 50%. In order to expand again, the rate has to drop below 15% for another seven days. The good news is we are another step closer to a COVID-19 vaccine. Fort Worth based American Airlines is prepping to possibly play a major role in distribution. The airline just completed a trial flight testing its thermal packaging and stress test process for shipping vaccines. Another one involved in the shipping process has to figure out a way to keep vaccines at ultra low temperatures. Pfizer says its vaccines must ship at minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Dallas-based Southwest says as vaccines begin to ship following FDA approval, its cargo division will work with a number of our freight forwarding and courier customers that specialize in vaccine distribution. The airlines wants to ensure it understands their needs and how they can play a role with moving the vaccine to locations throughout the United States.